with my parents at the moment. I used to not live with my parents. I moved out for college and I grabbed some of the pillowcases that I had. I guess my Beyonce <laughs> now. I'm going somewhere to fold your fitted sheet with a pocket. How do you say it? Somebody tell me. I think he wants to go outside. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ricky. I am a support engineer, a tech junkie, a dog mom, honestly just a jack of all trades. I do vlogs and lifestyle, career changes, all kinds of stuff. To be quite honest with you, I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing. I am really trying my best to be a little bit more consistent, which is why I'm here today to take you guys along with me on yet another day in the life. Like the point of me being on YouTube and taking you guys along with me is one, to document my journey through literally most things, if not everything. Because that's kind of just what I've been doing for the past, you know, however many years. I like to document things and I like to look back on them years later and be like, that's where we were at. But if you guys are thinking at all about starting a channel, just do it. Like this is coming from me with very little views and very little subscribers still trying to figure it out and you know, we can figure it out together. Anyway, I've rambled for too long and now I have 10 minutes before we need to get to our stand up and I was gonna make the bed, but we've got a comfortable doggy and I don't think he's gonna wanna move right now. Today's to-do list. I've written it in this uh, sticky note here because I don't really have any other daily to-do list notepad type things. I have been using my passion planner for all of my planning and stuff and I've kind of just used color coding to separate work and personal stuff. I really like this planner because it has the reflection at the end of the month. It's kind of like a journal and mini planner all in one, you know? work from home tip that I do have for you guys is to put your coffee or a drink of choice if it's not in a can put it in a to-go container like so because for me personally I feel like that'll give you the idea that you are like going somewhere you know in my last video I kind of talked about separating work and personal space this is kind of one of those things that helps me kind of separated because if I'm drinking from a mug, it feels too homey. If I'm drinking from a to-go cup, it feels like I'm in an office or something. So if you guys decide to pick up this work from home tip, please let me know. And if you have any other work from home tips, please let me know in the comments. I would love to check them out and try them out. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the ticket queue and see what bugs and fixes and things that we have to uh, tackle for the day. <laughs>
you guys will see if you haven't already that my my days have just been a lot more inconsistent than I would like them to be and I'm kind of in the middle of figuring out a routine for myself a little bit of a background story on kind of where i've been in life and the living situation that i'm in i grew up in the bay area and then i moved to portland oregon for school which is where i met my boyfriend i guess my fiance <laughs> now so i moved to portland oregon in the beginning of 2015 and i had been there ever since and then last year uh because of covid and how it really affected my family especially in the beginning of the pandemic i decided to move back in the bay area and decided to live with my parents because i wanted to kind of take advantage of the opportunity i had to live with them and to save money and there's a bunch of other factors but that was mostly the reason and then in the beginning of 2021 my parents actually decided that they wanted to sell the bay area house because the bay just wasn't for them anymore so they decided to sell the house buy a new one up here in sacramento area um, which is where we are now they bought the house with us in mind knowing that we were probably going to be here for a couple of years i mean they want to stay here until we have kids and stuff but that's that's i don't know that's just not part of the plan at the moment but yeah just very fortunate that they even thought about that you know whether or not we do stay here for two years or five years or what have you so with that said sean my fiance actually didn't move here until uh, a week before he proposed so he's only really been here for about a month or so so it's just been a huge adjustment period i mean it was an adjustment period moving from portland to the bay area and then it was an adjustment moving from the bay up to sacramento sacramento as some of you guys may know is like 30 degrees hotter for example it's 10 30 in the morning it's already 84 degrees this entire week is projected to be 100 degree weather so there's that for you and i bet you in the bay area it's like in the 70s so there's just kind of a lot of moving parts and on top of that you know there's covid and the delta variant and all that stuff anyways all of that to say that it has been an adjustment period for the millionth time so not having a morning routine or a routine in general to be completely honest with you guys it is actually really challenging but we're you know where we're working we're working with what we've got we're handling things a day at a time so it'll be really interesting to document kind of this process of figuring out a morning routine figuring out a routine in general and sharing it with you guys because i'm sure there's somebody else out there who may be going through the same thing of either moving in with their parents or living with their fiance or living with their boyfriends girlfriends what have you just want to remind you guys that it is a process and even for those people who have their routine set up remember it didn't take overnight for that to happen it's you know like these habits and things it takes some time to really establish them thank you guys for listening to that live story ramble what have you Hey guys, so I am nearing the end of my lunch break and I was actually gonna grab a drink like a yerba mate, yerba mate How do you say it? Somebody tell me! Then I realized that I've been drinking those kinds of drinks as well as like teas and stuff so essentially sugar the past week or so and I wanted to kind of challenge myself today to just drink good old water for the rest of the day i'm really gonna try to push through the rest of the day without any more caffeine without any more sugary drinks which includes milk tea and or boba still got a lot of things on my to-do list so i'm actually gonna go over that right now and see what i can kind of knock out within the next hour and then just kind of power through and be really focused and see how much i can get done <laughs> So 
I've got quite a bit of stuff that I still need to do on this to-do list. But as you can see, I've already checked off a few other things. The next thing that I'm really going to try to tackle is this ticket quota that I have for the day. And then hopefully I can go ahead and do some of this security awareness training. And then also, as you can see, I've tackled some things that's on my personal to-do list. Definitely still have a couple of things that I need to do, like look up restaurants for where we're going tomorrow since it is my stepdad's birthday tomorrow. But for the most part, I've checked that off. So I found this, I guess, kind of like a hack on Pinterest of how to fold your fitted sheet with a pocket so then you could put your pillowcases in it. And this is what it looks like. So as you can see, when she tucks everything in, she has that little pocket. Then you could put the pillowcases in it. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um, I'm going to watch this again and then we'll see if I, I could do it. <laughs> Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been placing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do. Press slow down. Let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your worries. I ain't staying till the afternoon. I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth. I loved you from a distance. Now I can't even stay close to you. But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms Calculating all the aftermath Now when I miss this, I'm menace in my mind But protagonists in all my drink A ceiling on my doubts, I need healing in this drought I've been singing to the ceiling Learning how to live without uh, you call my name, the feelings we couldn't contain. Falls that we had one made. There really no one to blame. I should think came blame. I grabbed some of the pillowcases that I had in the cabinet that matched this um, sheet and I put them right in that pocket. So there you guys have it. It was kind of a struggle to figure out at first, but hey, figured it out. Yes, sir. He's been barking at me for a few minutes. You look so determined to tell me something. What are you telling me? Jexy talk? Oh. I think he wants to go outside. Are you hungry? Which one is it? Do you want to just play? Your tail's wagging. What do you want? Kiss mom. Thank you. Look at that, just like magic. So it is now the end of the day and I've logged off. I've checked off things on my to-do list. I've kind of taken a look at what I have for tomorrow. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys had some fun kind of just going through a pretty realistic work day with me. Um, I just try to film as much as I can of, you know, the things that I do, not just when I'm working because I can't really show you guys too much of what I do, um, but also kind of the things that I do in between to really fill up my time and kind of make the most out of the day that I have. Just kind of show you the typical like work from home experience. But yeah, I, I just, I definitely had a lot of fun and I, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.